I'm back with another one. I've been using One Hand Operation Plus for a little over a month and I wanted to do a follow video on my experience with Samsung's take on gesture navigation. For those of you who aren't familiar with One Hand Operation Plus, it's a standalone app from Samsung that is part of the Good Lock family. The app offers enhanced one-handed operation as the name implies. It basically generates handlers on the left and right edge of the screen and allows designated swipe gestures to mimic navigation buttons. It's super customizable and allows you to navigate your phone with just your thumb and while maintaining fairly good ergonomics. Let's get right into my experience and review of One Hand Operation Plus after one month. Let's go. When I first installed One Hand Operation Plus, I was a little skeptical and assumed it would be a haphazard attempt by Samsung to implement gestures, but I have to say, it's been phenomenal and has changed the way I use my phone. I was actually playing around with the Note 9 while I was at the Samsung Experience Store and kept trying to swipe to navigate around the phone. It was funny because the employees there kept staring at me as if I didn't know what I was doing. Once you get used to the navigation gestures, it's actually quite hard to go back to buttons. This is especially true for larger phones since reaching for the recent keys is quite a stretch for those with smaller hands. Give One Hand Operation Plus a shot if you haven't already. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised once you get used to it. In my initial One Hand Operation Plus video, I mentioned I wish Samsung gave us an option to enable swipes from the bottom, but honestly, after using it for a month, I personally think having swipe gestures from the bottom would be worse for ergonomics. When I hold my phone, I naturally hold it like this. Notice the location of my thumb. Having the gestures activate from the side of the phone is much more comfortable compared to reaching toward the bottom of the phone which requires a bit of a stretch. Most of us are aware that you can hide the navigation bar in apps by double tapping the little dot on the left, but on your home screen, it's still there. A solution that I have been using is done with Nova Launcher. If you're using Nova Launcher, click on look and feel, and under the notification bar heading, you'll see a hide navigation bar setting. Enable that and now the navigation bar will be hidden on your home screen. Swiping up from the bottom will bring up the navigation bar. Bringing down the notification shade also brings it up, but for the most part, it's no longer visible. The capacitive home button is still functional in case you were wondering. You have to give credit where credit is due and the sheer amount of customization built into One Hand Operation Plus is awesome. If this is how Samsung intends to implement gestures on Android P, I love that you aren't forced to adopt a preset set of gestures. For example, diagonal swipe up is super awkward for me. If I was forced to use that gesture, I would probably be sitting here with a totally different experience. Thankfully, since each gesture can be customized, I have both the diagonal swipes set to do nothing. You can adjust the handler's transparency, change their size, adjust vibration level when the gesture is registered, the options are great. Thank you developers for understanding that everyone has different preferences. In conclusion, One Hand Operation Plus and Navigation Gestures gets two thumbs up from me. The app has been updated multiple times since its release, which shows that Samsung is taking it seriously and wants to continue to improve it. One of my biggest complaints was that the gestures didn't work when in the landscape orientation, but that was fixed in the last update. Are you using One Hand Operation Plus? If yes, what has your experience with it been like? Let me know in the comment section. Until the next one, peace. Bye.